TV fam. Welcome back to TV Nation. It's your girl Tawana. And your boy Vaughn. And we are back, back, back with another video. Another mukbang. Y'all, we just mm -hmm. eating tonight. We just eating leftovers. We got some jerk chicken. Where did I make this? I don't know. I made it long, maybe a week ago. We froze it. We froze so, it, yeah. Out it out. Mm -hmm. And we, since we had our greedy patties, perfect time to eat that's them right with that and then we got some salad of course mm -hmm. so yeah what y'all eating on tonight let us know put it in the comment section down below that's actually your line ain't it? i know you, you stole my line who told you to say that i'm going in with some trader joe's green goddess salad dressing i love it hubby here just tasted it he was like nah nah i actually want to taste it it's on the avocado salad. green onion lemon juice chives basil and garlic it's pretty good fresh ingredients yes fresh but i want to taste it on the salad okay what go ahead i was done you're not gonna put your, your dressing on there oh why are you waiting on me to put my dressing because on i now? want to try that Actually, which salad is mine the one back here see how she had y'all he told me okay i'm like what i ain't gonna go say <laughs> I said I want to say. Lord have mercy. How much? How much though? How much? A dollar. Two tablespoons. That's a lot. I probably just put one. A dollar. So if I just put one tablespoon, it actually be ten. Mm. That's one. And one. And you heard me say I was waiting on this. I, 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 screw the top I forgot back you on. said that. I'm sorry. I just wanted to put the top back on. What else you supposed to do? See how she do? Why you put that much and you might not like it? You said you didn't like it and you gonna put all that on there. I didn't there. like it on my finger. It might be good on the side. But what if it's not? You just put so much on there. You gonna eat it anyway? Yes. I'm sure it's not unbearable. Well. <laughs> who don't who say they don't like something then for a buku amount on their food? This guy. <laughs> You like? It's not bad, but mm -mm. see. Mm. So yeah, I'll, I'm going in with this cucumber ranch. I gotta go back and um, get me some Catalina because that's relatively low calorie too. That's around fifty, I think. This is good. This is pretty. This is like lemony. I taste lemon, avocado, garlic, basil. What I'm gonna do is make my own tahini dressing. Mm-hmm. That's not bad either. That's low in calorie. And if you eat um and that's probably only one tablespoon, so instead of the forty, you probably got twenty. So that's not bad either. But after you mix all that up, let's do a thumbnail, because you know how we be forgetting our thumbnails, y'all. Let's get that toenail. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to drool. <sighs> I'm going in with that patty bite. A bite of that patty. Going straight to the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still good, John. Good stuff. Still good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Patty warm? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Patty warm. Patty warm. Mm hmm. So we both have curry. That's the curry with the one green dot. And then I got a jerk chicken also. Mm -hmm. This jerk chicken mm. that hubby cooked. Last week, it's so good. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It was on mm. the grill, y'all. Yes, it's so good. I love grilled chicken. Grilled chicken, did you know it was once my favorite food? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It was replaced by crabs. What? Yeah. You didn't used to eat crabs as much or something? Mm-mm. I don't know why. I didn't used to eat crabs as much. I used to eat them every now and then. 
You didn't eat them in Louisiana? Not that much. I mostly ate crawfish in Louisiana. Hmm. I started getting into crabs like a lot. About maybe four years ago, four or five years ago. Hmm. Prior to that, my favorite food was grilled chicken or roasted chicken or rotisserie chicken. Mostly grilled and rotisserie. Hmm. I loved it. I would eat like three, four times a week. How I got into crabs? I mean, I've always liked crabs, but like. Not like that. Not like that. I don't know. I just was like. When I wanted to eat stuff other than like crawfish, or when crawfish wasn't in season. Back in Louisiana, when crawfish wasn't in season, we would have like blue crab boils. My dad would boil some blue crabs or whatever. Hmm. So that's what I was used to. Um, outside, outside of Louisiana, I didn't really eat blue crab. So I was like, well, let me get into the snow crab. And I fell in love. Y'all mm -hmm. got me on these sauces. So I'm going in with this mambo sauce, the sweet and the sweet hot. Even though the jerk flavor is quite delicious. And then we're going to add the sauce in. I just want a little sauciness to it. So speaking of crabs, y'all, this crab shortage has these prices going through the roof. I checked Juicy Crab today just to see, like, because that's one of the places we hadn't checked. Cause we've never been there. Mm -hmm. Sixty dollars for a pound of shut up. Crab. Sixty. Thirty dollars. Was it thirty? I think it was thirty dollars for one snow crab cluster. No, it might have like, It might have. It was like twenty, I think, for one snow crab cluster. And of course, you gotta get two. So for y'all. I haven't been eating it like that. Um, I haven't been craving it as much. Hmm. But also, okay. I ain't, ain't nobody trying to pay that much for no crabs. Mm -mm. And even if you go and buy them yourself, they're still expensive in the store. Because mm -hmm. I remember we got some from H-E-B not too long ago. It was still a lot more than it would normally be. It was expensive. Like what is going on with crabs? The price had gone up already that time? Mm-hmm. It was during the shortage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some cookout we had, I don't remember what it was for, but Kennedy wanted crabs and I got crabs. Mm. I think I spent about seventy dollars on crabs and I only bought like literally two pounds. That don't make no sense. It didn't. Not at all. I don't know. They better do something. Well, they still... Juicy Crab still got crawfish. Mm. So that means other people still got crawfish. Mm-hmm. I'll do crawfish and my green mussels. Mm-hmm. Yep, crawfish. And, uh... Mm, sorry, something flew. <laughs> uh, it didn't hit me. <laughs> and, um... If it did, I didn't feel it. Some places have blue crab, which are more expensive than usual, but more reasonable than the snow crab and the king crab. What? I don't understand why there's a shortage, though. I don't either. It makes no sense. Are they, did something happen, like, environmentally and they're not mating as much? I don't know. Do y'all know? Do so y'all know what's going on with the crab shortage? Why is there a shortage of crabs? Comment down below if you know. Because we don't. Simply this is the thing. This? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if you know why there's a chicken wing shortage. Like, <laughs> right? How can you not have enough chicken wings but you have enough of other parts of the chicken don't it don't they all come off the same chicken like help me understand maybe it's because there are so many chicken wing places restaurants yeah so more wings get used than the other parts of the body yeah 
there's more demand. But still, it's just it just sounds a little weird. <laughs> And what's up with all this rain, too? This is too much strange oh, stuff going on. It, it. <laughs> it's too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's strange stuff. We've had rain all summer. We've had more rain this summer than we had in the spring. And spring is normally the time for rain. And yet again, this is like the third week that it's forecast to just rain every single day. Every day, y'all. We can't really have a summer. Been wanting to take my son back out to the pool. Who knows when we'll get to do that? Hmm. Might have to go in the rain one day. <laughs> I'm not going in the rain. <laughs> as long as it ain't thundering. Have y'all been having a lot of rain where y'all at? It's just make no sense. Mm hmm. Hmm. Again, y'all, if y'all haven't checked out the Greedy Couple patties, check them out. Go get them. Go get them. They good. I'm going to put the link in the description again. They good, y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. So I saw something. You know, I just look at headlines. I don't even. The only reason this caught my attention. You one of them? There's. I'm one of them. There is something. There is something about these three black boys. Did you see that? And they missed something in some type of. I guess it was some major soccer event or whatever. Oh. They, and people are being racist toward them. They play for the English national team. I was team. like. I saw people people were re on my Instagram were reposting some of the racist posts that they saw. Oh my god, they were being so cruel and racist to these boys. Calling them the N-word, calling them monkeys. Mm -hmm. What was of, that? There's a lot of racism. What do you mean what was that? What game was that? Like what was going on? It was part of I don't know if it's part of the qualifiers for the World Cup. Or what? But it was a pretty important game, and they missed penalty kicks. Which you're gonna get shouted at if you miss penalty kicks, especially if that causes your team to lose. But that don't call for racist slurs and stuff to be thrown at you. Oh, they were so horrible, y'all! Horrible. I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Hmm. Sad. Yeah, the, the the one I saw was people coming for um, was it Prince Harry or Prince William? Who's one married to Meghan Markle? Prince uh, Harry William. Okay. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. Prince it's William, Harry. huh? It's Harry and Meghan. Isn't it? mm, it's Harry. It's Harry. <laughs> it's Harry. But I think they were coming for. I don't know which one. They were coming for one of them. Because what? because he tweeted, um, you know, he was disturbed and all this kind of stuff, and we can't have this. And he's like the head of the English Soccer Federation or whatever. He's but they were like, how come you didn't have that energy when your family was coming for your wife? Hmm. So they are that disturbed that the boys missed this thing, this penalty kick, whatever that is. Hell yeah. I know. I don't know what that is. I don't know anything about soccer. You don't know what a penalty kick is? Mm -mm. A Why penalty kick is basically like a free throw. So mm. if you commit a foul within the goal box, which is the box right there where the goalie is, it's mm -hmm. right, right close to the goal. If the defending team fouls somebody within there, they get a penalty kick, which is just the guy gets to stand there with nobody in front of him but the keeper oh, and kick. <laughs> try to kick it in. It's almost guaranteed to go in. So all three boys missed that? <laughs> yep. That seems odd though, right? That all three boys would miss that? Doesn't well, it? First, well, first of all, they're men. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I said boys, I shouldn't. 
You being uh, a boys. You being racist. No, they looked young, so I, I didn't, and I didn't know. I thought they might have been boys. Hmm. Yeah! Not odd. That you is, think they were up to something? That's a bit odd. I don't know. They might have been hmm. paid to throw the game. It might have been to How? blow the game for all three of them to miss that. And you're saying like it's pretty much a guaranteed like thing mm -hmm. to make it. Yep. I don't know. What y'all think? That sounds a little suspect. Mm-hmm. It sure does. But I don't know enough about it, so. There's a lot. I've seen, I've read about that. There's a lot of racism in international soccer. I know what was going on. I was like, they kept saying all three missed the pin. They, you know what, missed the pin? Like, what's the pin? Hmm. Baby. What? Some tweets is mild. In some countries, they be like threatening to kill the players and stuff. Wow. For messing up a game. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember. I forgot which World Cup it was. It was within the past three World Cups. World Cup is every four years. Um, the players in Brazil, because Brazil was like the champion for a long time. But they were getting death threats. And those people threatening them can't get out there and do anything close to what they the, those guys did. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't even have the talent. Are you threatening somebody because they messed up? It's crazy to me, y'all, how... In some other countries, they take these sports so seriously, like as if we don't, in, as if we don't take football. Not seriously. like this, though. Nobody's threatening to kill the players. Uh, they probably don't, but it's a lot of corruption. Some of y'all probably don't want to hear me say that. There's corruption, yeah, but I'm talking about violence. Yeah, from the fans, people who have no power. I guess. Oh, people tear up cities and. And riot when their team loses football game. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. Flip over cars. Yeah, they do all that. They might not threaten the players, but they act a fool. They get violent. I know somebody y'all who plays international plays basketball internationally. What do you say? And he was telling me a story that he was playing. I think. Was he playing in Israel? Yeah, I think he was playing in Israel at this time. And they lost a game. And they were walking to their cars. I mean, this is like international. It's not like our celebrity style, you know, basketball players where you ain't going to just walk out the stadium and go to your car. <laughs> you know, you probably got a tunnel or, you know, something like that. But anyway, he said it was a crowd of men that just ran over to them and were like shouting at them and bumping all up against him. He, this dude was raised in the hood, so he he got a little shaky and he knocked one of them out. Hmm. <laughs> Man. Wow. Oh. That's crazy. People act like that. Like the dude ran up on him like he was going to do something. Well, these guys, I don't know if people are actually making threats, but they might be. I mean, I wonder if they feel like their safety is in jeopardy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be. If one of them dies of COVID soon, <clears throat> we're going to know something's up. Exactly. We're going to mm -hmm. definitely know. So what y'all think about all this mess that's going on? Oh, yes. The shortages, the crab in the wing um, shortages, 
the weather. Mm-hmm. And what was the other thing we said? I don't know. It might have been just those two. But that's some weird stuff. Hmm. Happening all at once. Mm-hmm. Run me out. Mm. I don't want to start throwing stuff out there on YouTube. <laughs> this ain't that kind of channel. <laughs> I'll tell you after. Mm -hmm. We're watching this video, y'all. There's this guy. There's this guy in... Where is he? I don't know. I don't know where he is. <laughs> in uh, Georgia. The country of Georgia. Not the state. The country of Georgia. And he does these cooking videos. He grills. Oh, man. That man be grilling all kinds of stuff. He got so much equipment. But anyway, that ain't the point. He was outside <laughs> grilling something. And he was mixing up some something, you know, whatever. And his daughters always be playing, you know, playing out in the patio or whatever while he's cooking. Well, one of them ran over and said, hurry. She said, Dad, hurry up. What's taking so long? I'm hungry. And he stopped in mid-cut. And he just looked over at her. And then there was a cut in the video. Okay. There was a cut in the video. And when it came back, she was just sitting down quiet. <laughs> he said, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what happened there? Mm -hmm. I'm like, Richie, looking over at your chicken. Why is it in my chicken? Because you look like you ain't going to finish it. I am. I'm trying to do it. You don't know how to clean the bone. You going to leave yours like this? I'm trying to. This is so much better what? than that turkey leg. That scorpion with that damn sauce on it. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when our videos come out. Thumbs up this video, share it out if you can, and we will catch y'all on the next one. T and B Nation out. Mm.